Hi everybody, Chef John Conley, cooking in my outdoor kitchen here in Flagstaff, Arizona. It's a beautiful day. My friends call me Johnny Brava. I'm one of the mess lords. We travel all over the world and cook for the men and women in our military. I gotta give a big shout out to MWR Navy Entertainment. They take us on tour. Morale, welfare, and recreation. Uh, Navy Entertainment has taken us to over 55 bases in probably 22 countries and we've cooked for over a quarter million men and women in our military. Uh, because we can't go on tour, because we're quarantined here at our home, uh, we're doing cooking demos that are going to be sent out to bases all over the world, some of which we've been to. We've been from Guam, Djibouti, Africa, Sigonella, Italy, the whole Pacific Rim. So some of you have seen us cooking for you, and for some of you this will be new. Uh, I also want to thank our men and women in the military. I've had the opportunity to do what most people don't, uh, and that is to get, actually get boots on the ground in places like Bahrain and Djibouti, Africa, and Guam, and Okinawa, and, um, and I get to see firsthand the sacrifice that you, that you do for us. And it's one thing to sit in your living room and watch it on TV. It's another to go out and cook for you and experience your sacrifice. Uh, my kids, they go to sleep in a safe country and they wake up in a safe country because of what you do. So thank you very much. This is all for you. Today we're going to do speed salsas. One of my restaurants is called Salsa Brava. This is Adam. Come on over and say hello. Mm. Hello there. Adam has made this salsa many, many times and he's going to help me. And then I got another kid, Ivan, and my wife were over there in the chicken coop. Um, we're going to do speed salsas. I'm going to do four salsas in under 10 minutes. The first salsa is going to be a salsa mochahete. We call it walk away salsa in my restaurant. We put everything on the grill and we walk away and we roast it. We blend that up and we make a salsa mochahete. From that salsa mochahete, we're going to develop three other salsas. We're going to do a pineapple habanero. We're going to do a toasted chili de arbol. And I'm going to do a chipotle. So we'll have a mochahete, pineapple habanero, uh, the chili de arbol, and the chipotle. Some of you who are watching this across the world right now, I've been to your bases, I've been to your open markets, I know some of this stuff is going to be hard to get and I'll talk you through, like when we've been in Germany, we've been in France, it's hard to get chilies. I'll talk you through what you can use some of the substitutes. So, uh, John Hammer is my cameraman, I gotta thank you John, you've done a great job. He's gonna be walking around. We've started some things already. If you want to come on over here John, I'll show you what we're doing. Again, you can walk away. We want this you would think that might, that might be too much. That's perfect. All this is gonna get blended. In here, I've got about five garlic cloves, a little bit of olive oil. And we're gonna start blending this up pretty quick. These might need an extra minute, so we'll go over here and we'll talk chilies. If you wanna close this door down and let these go just for another minute, Adam, that would be excellent. You wanna shut it down? Yeah. If you're in Germany or France, I've been to their markets, sometimes you can get really great chilies. If you have to buy, if you have to go to the commissary on base and find diced green chilies, just get these. You can also get these diced jalapenos. This is a very forgiving recipe. Uh, you're gonna see, you can do just about anything you like. We have in our possession, um, Anaheim's, jalapenos, and I thought I reserved a poblano, but I didn't. So what we did is we roasted these up on the, on the grill. The jalapenos, just leave them like this. You don't have to peel them. You could go through that whole mess, but I like the char. These green chilies, these are Anaheim's. This is actually the poblano. That's in Anaheim. This is in Anaheim. And here's a poblano. And there's a mix of those in here. We roast these on the grill and then we put them in a steam bag for about 10 minutes and then you can just watch how, how easily these peel. That's it, they just, the skin comes right off. Like I said, the jalapenos I wouldn't worry about. From here, I'm gonna cut the top off, go down the side, open it up, use the back of my knife and just scrape the seeds out. And there you have a beautiful Anaheim. There's so many things we could do with this. We can do chili rellenos, you can make a green chili casserole. So we got poblano, Anaheim's, and jalapenos. Adam, you want to start pulling everything off? Oh, uh, yeah. Let me get you a bowl. 
Right behind John here, I got a bowl. Here, throw everything right in there. But the trick is, is uh, leave it on the grill as long as you can, and then just sit, and then just take them off really quickly. Great, throw it all in there, let's go blend it up. You can use a food processor, you can use a blender. Um, you're gonna see Adam do this. I'm not even gonna coach him because he's done it so many times. But you can do this, you can puree this until it's really fine or you can do it so it's... So it's be fresh. Chunky. It's fresh we, we like it chunky. chunky. So, or, do you remember how yeah. we just did the pulse? Bam, 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 yes. bam. All right, bam, bam, bam. throw it in there, throw it in. Uh, Here's your water. Okay. Here's your salt. Here's your garlic. Right, uh, put the tray, yeah, so don't stuff it too much don't in there, stuff right? It too much. Just a fair amount. Can I help you just dump that in there? You want to just take the bowl and dump some? Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. get the garlic while you. This gets well, too. That's a good amount right there. Let Ooh, me get the garlic in there. All the garlic. It's just been olive oil, garlic, garlic um, throw it on the grill. Onions, you can use Maui sweet onions. I like them better because they're soft and they make a char. They, they char up a little bit better. But you can use brown, white, Maui sweet. These tomatoes, if you have, it, you can use any tomato you want. I've actually got heirlooms in there that we've made this out of. Um, it's, it's very forgiving. Go to the market and find what you can. All right, you want to do some salt and water in there? Yeah. So the, the water just allows it to move. Um, obviously, we're gonna add more water at the end. This is just to get it to pulse. You got them lined up perfectly there? Mm -hmm. Perfectly doubled. And then make sure it's on. And then bump, and then bump the uncle. What do you think, is that chunky? And that's chunky. All right, so go ahead and dump it in the bowl right there. I'm like obsessed with salsa after it makes sense. That was so little. <laughs> well, we do. We make this a lot. We got a little place down in Mexico, and this is the first thing we make. Lid on, hit it. Yeah. Oh. Lid on. I think that looks. What do you think? Maybe yeah. one more? Maybe just like one more top. Beautiful. And this time, I'm going to use this lip part. So, John, I know you got a good shot over there. These are the jalapenos. They still have the stems on them. I'm going to take just the tops off. And this whole thing, don't take these seeds out. You can see they're full of seeds, but I like those. I'm going to have Ivan start on the next one. We'll finish this, and then he's going to get prepped. Habaneros. Um, use your gloves. We're not using gloves, but he's going to take the stems off of this because you'll see what he's starting over there. We also have the chili dar bowl. He'll get going on that. All right, Adam. Um, that's good to go. All of these. So here's all the green chilies. Throw all the chili in there. And then I'm going to do the jalapeno really quick. You want to start pulling the stems off? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, it's awesome. What's your favorite thing about salsa? Uh, my favorite scene is um, I just really like the um, uh, just the uh, flavor of it and the flavor we, um, of the water. I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of pickles, uh, so I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Call me crazy. Pickles? What are pickles? We don't really like hot food in this family. Ah, so that, uh, except for me, I like <laughs> most hot stuff, but not all. We time. we we love hot food. All right, the chili's going in. We're gonna flash that, and then I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the cilantro separate. It'll be the last thing I do because I want to really blend this up into small pieces. Along the way. Beautiful. Beautiful. That goes in. Oh, here's my poblano. I found my other poblano. So this is the poblano. We're gonna blend this up and put it in there too. Okay. Here, let me open this up for you guys. Got it. I'm gonna pull the stem off, take the seeds out. 
Here, we'll go ahead and just dump that in there oh, like yeah. this. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Let me get this other one in. Whoop, one more round. Dad, you're doing this all wrong. It's like this. <laughs> Did you get that? I'm doing it all wrong. All right, let's do that. I'm gonna throw the cilantro in with the chili. I'm gonna put two bunches in because we can. You know, this is, and I love there's it. nothing the same on this. This is a recipe is really just a roadmap, you guys. Take all the detours you want, grab. In, in Europe, you're gonna have a hard time finding cilantro. Get some flat leaf parsley. Yeah, um, needs a little bit more, Dad. Needs a little more, Dad. Any type of chili, if you want it sweet, get sweet. If you want more heat. Uh, we were in Japan. We did like eight bases in Japan. And they have these little Thai chilies. Um, and we're obviously cooking on bases everywhere from Sasebo to Okinawa. Um, and we managed to put out some wicked hot, wicked hot uh, salsa. I got a little salt in there already. Okay. You, 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 you. Okay. Um, 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 my apologies. Please. All right, hit it. Okay. One more. Here we go. Down the hatch. Yep. Oh, look, we have a puppy oh, dog. And also, we got puppies. So it's very yeah. cute. Yeah. Two very dumb. two little dogs. Well, my other dog doesn't even like it. <laughs> All right, here's a spoon. So this is a roasted tomato, also known as a mocajete. So we're gonna test this, we're gonna season it up. This is gonna be the mother salsa. From this, we're gonna make four other really quick ones. Got that, you got all the seeds off of that. All right, actually, we do love you. Oh, perfect. All right. What? Say what? Let's see if we need some salt. Uh, oh, grab a chip. Grab a chip. Chip and see if it does. Wow, that is good. You like salsa, John? Yes, sir. You like hot salsa? Yes, sir. Would you like a taste? I'm working, baby. Okay. Perfect. Perfect job. Oh. All right. Come on over here. So this is a chili de arbol. Middle of the road heat. We're gonna toast this really quick. It's very important that you don't let this go too far because otherwise it goes straight to burn. So once it goes from the red to amber, stop it. We're gonna puree that up with a little bit of water, cumin and oregano. We're gonna add that to a whole other salsa mocajete. So he's gonna add the water to it, or the, the oil. A little more. Let me turn that off. It's gonna go fast. All right, in with half of that. It's gonna, it's gonna make you wanna cough. Done. So we're gonna stop this now. And you can see what happens. <coughs> Told you. This is gonna go in here. You want me to throw another round in? Yeah, let's throw another round. But let that pan cool down a bit. Mother. Mother of chili. <laughs> All right. A little more, John. You wanna stand downwind? All right, throw the rest of them in there now. That's it. Now you can see, you can watch them start to turn. See how quick they are? Boom, done. In it goes. All right, that's done. Yeah, a little bit of water. I'm gonna give it a touch of cumin. And then this sauce is going to be hot, very hot. Can I have this, please? I'm working on that. So from here. Wait, I didn't even taste it yet. Well, we're, we're going to make another salsa. You can taste it in a minute. In goes the salsa mocajete. I'm going to puree, puree this up a little bit more. Excuse me, not this way. Is it, know, is it clear? Almost. Got it. And this is a toasted chili de arbo.
Let's try that one. This one's gonna have a real smoky flavor to it. Okay. See here. Mm. It's not hot at all. Come try it. <laughs> it is really, really good. <laughs> this is huevos rancheros material. So you can serve this warm. You can serve all these sauces warm. This is our, our toasted chili diablo. This is our mocajete, our mother salsa. That's, these are both perfect just the way they are. Oh, okay. Chipotle. Chipotle. What is a chipotle? A chipotle is a jalapeno that has been dried and smoked. So it looks like a little shriveled, I don't know. It's a brown and red in color. It's about that big. It looks like a shriveled up thumb. <laughs> when you reconstitute it, it makes a sauce called adobo. And you can see this says chipotles in adobo. So it's a smoked, dried jalapeno. These are some of my favorite. Okay. You want to do this one too? Yes. All right. Let me just show people what it looks like here. Okay. Get this. You can see it still has the stem on it. It's a smoked dried jalapeno. I'm going to blend everything up in this. It's all going in. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of this mocha head there. Right. Wanna just dump it in there? Come on this side and just dump some in there. Where's this one? Oh, this one. That one. Okay. Can you do it? You want some help? Go the other All way. Right, go it. this way. There you go. Over a little bit more. There you go. Perfect. Stop right there. Wow, it's hot. Which one? The toasted yeah. chili arbo. Okay, back up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blend this one up. Oh, uh, can I put it up there? Yeah, let me hit this. Do it. Good. All right. Toasted chili diablo, molcajete, chipotle in adobo. In adobo. Wow. We have a dog. We have a little ankle biter. Is this pretty tiny? Is it? You want to try this one? This one won't be as hot. I'll be that. It won't be that hot. Adam, you gotta try that one. Go ahead. Pretty good, it's like barbecue sauce. Try there it again. It is. Try it again. Oh. Hmm? oh, that was messed up. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> That's a triple A. <laughs> All right, so the last one we're gonna do. How is it, Adam? This is probably the most favorite salsa at Salsa Bravo. We serve all these. We also do a tomatillo. We do a fresh pico de gallo. That's our pineapple habanero. Pico's the best. And this salsa will strip wax and remove paint. I mean, literally strip wax and remove paint. Okay. Thanks for a bit of comedy. Pineapple habanero. That one's going to be really good now. All right, let's go through them. Mother. Oh, okay, so this is the first one. This is the mother salsa. It's called the salsa mocajete or a roasted tomato. An actual mocajete is a mortar and pestle. We obviously don't have a mortar and pestle, so it's not a classic mocajete. In Mexico, where my kids have grown up as well, in, in Puerto Pinasco, this is the most commonly eaten salsa in Mexico, salsa mocajete. This one is really just fresh vegetables, a little bit of salt. Really good, huh? The next one is a toasted chili de arbo. This one is ripping, smoking, burning hot. And that one too. This one's not that hot. You want to try it? No. I don't believe you. Okay. I got you. A terrible idea. This will be the hot. Oh, yeah. Just that little it's bit. It's already mellowed out. We're going to find out. Do you want to put the chips over here? And then this one is the chi the chipotle, the smoked habanero. Woo! Oh! 
It's a good one. It's weird because you can taste how dark the chili is, like in the really hot one. Like you can really taste the one that we toasted the chilies with. You can taste like how it's, it's dark toasted, and, yeah. yeah. And then the pineapple habanero. Oh. Want to try this one? Okay. I that hot out of, even I ate that one. It's still nothing compared try, to that. Not. I'll try the, uh, the chipotle one. It's pretty good. All right. Oh, speed salsa, guys. Speed. Duh, 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 duh. Adam, Drop thank you. Ivan, thank you. To all of our men and women out there across the world, I know you're seeing this all over the world at different bases. And different, mm -hmm. and different uh, pages. We love you, and we so much appreciate you keeping us safe. You keeping my kids safe, um, protecting the way and, and honoring the way that we live here in the United States of America. And I have to say, I've been so blessed to travel all over the world. I've seen the humanitarian work that you've done. Um, we were in, in Japan when there was a typhoon that came through in Guam and I watched pilots get off of their military aircraft that flew supplies over humanitarian. I was so impressed with the conditions you were flying in. So thanks again, MWR Navy Entertainment, Morale, Welfare, Recreation, for taking the Mess Lords uh, on tour. And again, to all of our men and women out there, we love you. We thank you. Eat more salsa. And be healthy. And be healthy.